guys, it's Sammy Fishman, welcome to another live stream of Onkai Star Rail, where we are going to do some stuffs, uh, which are this uh, quest, which will unlock a event, and, Is this a letter? and we're going to make some rolls, um, explore a little bit what's in here. So, before making some rolls on this banner, I don't know if we've if we're going to make this uh, mission. The one we will do is this one to unlock this one, which will also do. This is a uh, an event. So yeah, both of them are going to be done. This is the tryout. That's the first thing we're going to do. And this is yeah, doesn't matter. They're always here. So this is a new character, Jing Liu. It comes with Ting Yan, King Che, and Sampo. The big and only Sampo. So let's do the tryout. This this girl is real strong. Gains a charge when attacking. After accumulating a certain number of charges, enhances self and advances forward the unit's action. While enhanced consume charge to use a powerful ability. Hmm. Okay. The moon shines on the truth. The moon shines on the truth. Ooh. Okay, this is nice. It freezes all the enemies. Okay, it deals minor ice damage to a single enemy target, deals ice damage to a target enemy and obtains one sec of Sizigi Sizai guy. Whatever. Deals massive Ice damage to a target enemy and deals the damage and obtains one stack, okay. When possessing two stacks of this shit, Jing Liu enters the spectral transmigration state with her action advanced by 100%, her crit rate increased and her skill becoming enhanced. Ooh, using an attack in this state consumes HP from all other allies and increasing the attack according to the total HP consumed. When seizing stack becomes zero, exhausts the extra Okay, she consumes the health of the team. Okay, creates a dimensional around the characters and within this dimensional become frozen after entering combat with enemies in the dimension. This character generates energy and obtains a sack of seas, says Ra, with action of freeze the enemies. Okay, so We're she needs two now. stacks. I think we just need to <laughs> buffer up. This requires a healer. This girl, really? Okay, we will do this damage to everyone. Three stacks. Special attack. Damn. It doesn't consume that much of, of health. It doesn't consume her health, so I suppose that's nice. Yeah, she seems to be really strong. Okay, this is Tingyun. She's an old schooler. Generate target ally's energy and increase their damage. Increase the attack of target ally and deals extra damage. Target enemy when attacking. Mm -mm -mm. She's a good buffer, I guess. Not the best. I don't know if she's even the four star best. Well, whatever. Does minor light damage, single enemy, increase at the attack of a single ally, and grants the benediction ally that benedicts additional deals minor light damage to them when attacking, regenerate target allies' energy, increase their damage dealt. When the enemy is attacked by Ting Young, the ally with benediction. Feel a serio. Knoj. Benediction will deals minor lightning damage to the same enemy after using technique this character can immediately regenerate energy for themselves. Okay. So this enhances the ultimate damage. It fills up the the bar like half half of it almost I think. 
maybe 45 percent 40 percent um yeah it's pretty much it this is our chance Yeah, I'm not going to attack right now. Let's just use this now. Are made to be broken. Let's eat them all. Oh no, this only places three. This is our chance. And it's done. Okay, we also have King King Chi. King Ke, King Kwe. <laughs> Too slow, Dread. Too slow. Able to do tiles continuously in their own turn. Use a powerful ability when four tiles are. She's, she's a cool character. Especially in the right team. She can do a lot of damage with the right build. Nope. Fail. Come again, man. That's fine. Refund. Acho que consegue, tu és moderador, acho que consegues fazer isso. Os moderadores conseguem dar refund dos, dos pontos. Uh, ok, toss a tile in manual quanto damage. Draw tiles and increase damage dealt. This turn does not end after the action. Deals quantum damage to all the maze. Then obtain 4 tiles of the same suit. At the start of an, any allies, draws a tile. At the start of any allies turn, draws a tile. At the start of his character's turn. If the card kills four tiles from the same suit, remove all tiles in possession and his basic attack while increasing the character attack. Okay. Let's go. It's a, a little bit RNG. Okay. Attack buff. Break them all. Ah, não dá para dar os próprios. Ah, isso é só par. Mas também precisas para quê? Tens tantos, pá. Uh, enhance. É, yeah, she's a little bit RNG. Oh, aqui o fish, fish, fish attack. I'm going to make an all fish team. She's going to be in it. Um, the Little Dragon Zulti, what's the name? Qual que é o nome da... Da Dragonzinho da Hiller de 5 estrelas? Well, she also has a... Her ulti also shows some fishes. And the new healer. Uh, but I don't need two healers on the same team. The new healer, the 4 star healer from... From... The, from the, the sister of... The, the ice girl, I don't have her. But when she's throwing away her stuff, also shows a fish. Applies wind shear to all enemies, increase the OT taken by all enemies. Sampo, the great and only. Blind. Ooh, surprise but sex. Spooky October. Epa, vou tentar uh, jogar um jogo de terror na sexta à noite. Não sei. Sexta é amanhã, né? Ou no domingo. Tive para jogar este domingo, mas, mas não deu. Isto é muito cansativo com dois bebês. Para mim e para a minha mulher. E depois eu tenho que dar descanso a ela também, né? Deals minor wind damage to single enemy. Deals minor wind damage to single enemy targets with 5 bounces in total. Deals wind damage to all enemies with a high chance to co cause increased duty taken to them. Throwing an enemy, there is a chance of a wind shear on the target. Okay, that's pretty cool. Aligned with this ricochet love. Enemies set are you are blinded when you see a battle against one enemy. There is a chance to delay all enemies' actions. Yeah, didn't delay. Uh, Lynx, sort of all sister. Okay, I'm going to tell them about the name of her. 
Ah, mas a Serval também é irmã do. do outro de 5 estrelas, né? Do gajo de gelo. São os três irmãos. Lynx. Por acaso? Com o nome? Lynx. Sphinx. Sphinx. Lynx não é um animal. Não é não. Right. Bounce. Wind Shear. Applied. As you can see, a lot of DOT damage. I don't know how much it does it increase, but maybe 50%. It's 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 enough to, to see it. I don't know any DOT teams, but maybe there are some, and they probably want sample on the team. No sample. You already done that. Been there, done that. Okay, all done. Let's roll. It's time to. Ro Oh, ok. Uh, tu roll. Uh, tá a ver, ainda consegui aqui mais um, um lixozinho. Ah, mas isso também é normal, né? This is. Yeah, this is normal. Pass. So, doesn't matter. We're going for. Not here. We're going for the 5 star. On the banner. Do you think it's worth it, Dread? Just in case they fish. Seems powerful. Okay, let's start with those. Ooh, new weapon. Last one. Ok, nothing special. How many? Isto oferece ao fim de 400, né? Como é que eu vejo quantos é que eu tenho? Não é aqui. Ah, aqui, additional rewards. 220! Oh, it's 300! O personagem mais forte do jogo? Ok! The, the other one with the fish is this one. Oh, I need to select it. Which one do you think it's better? Estou indeciso entre esses dois. Eu gosto muito de, de, desta gaja. Ah, já, já te saiu, motherfucker. 300. Eu já tenho, já tenho, já tenho, já tenho. Não tenho este gajo. Porquê é que não diz o nome deles? Jeopard, gosto da Imeco, né? Imeco. E gosto de lunetas também. Welt. Não sei qual desses dois é que vale mais a pena. Whatever, ainda falta um bocadinho. Ok, let's roll. My, I have one last 50-50, uh, so. Never lucky. Uh, two samples converted. Let's wrap again. 30 rolls. E que shit. Oh, é 1600. Ok. Mas tu já tens o Elt. Tu já tens o Elt. Não achas o Elt fixe? Eu cortei Imeco. Ime, Imeco. Imeco. Uh, eu quero ver. Record of Ragnarok. It's this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then hang. Seven. So, isto está a mostrar cinco. Cinco vezes seis. 31, 32, 32, 42, 52. Consigo aqui mais uns rolls, né? Vamos tentar. Ah, não tens o Elt? Tu tens o Jeopard. O Jeopard. Já, yeah, sim. Eu sei que tens esse, mas preciso que tens o Elt também. Ok, let's go one by one now. All in.
Vou ficar com 50 rolls. Não, acho que não vou sacar 8 daqui, pois não. 12. Mais 12. 1 no mais. Pô, se eu tenho uma cena de 4 estrelas. Ok. Nothing at all. I got some weapons. Some light cones. And. What's this? Uh, com caraças. Pila. Mister. The tilt of the internet is broken once again, but it's mess enough. Uh, uh, uh. Love. Pila. Sorry, I messed the wrong person. You like this book a lot. Can you give me one as well? Not the art book, I got that for for my friend, but if you interested I can give you the set. Okay, a set, nice. Gimme, gimme, I like books. Yeah, I bought 10 sets so I can recommend to people. Well, thank you. Nerd. Can I pick it, pick it up at your home? Think that there's messages. Done hang. Do you have nightmares? No. Are you having nightmares? Yes. Sometimes I dream of destroying the world, other times I dream of losing my companion, sometimes even dream that I'm not myself. I wish the scenes would only remain in my dreams, but some things I'm not sure whether they had really happened. If it were you, would you have such worries? I don't really care about these things. Karen does not change anything. Whether I worry, I has nothing to do with everything I could learn. That it is over all you could give. That's what Trillboys taught me. That's what you taught me. No, I don't re remember ever giving you such instruction. It doesn't matter what happened. <laughs> Just relax. Alright, I will. Relax. Maybe I can get one more a roll. Hey, fish, I'm Luca. No problem. From a leg, are you free tonight? Can I watch? Can you watch my No problem, I'll be there, that's a promise. One thing, though, something weird happening later in the matches. Keep going against fully armed vagrants and automatons. Can't someone with weapons and missiles really count as a fight club fighter? Times have changed. And the fight club is to keep it up. Mm, that's reasonable. Unless I was want to move my robot arm to fire missiles. <laughs> but that just feels like I'm moving away from the original vision of the fight club. I give up. No one needs to overthink it. No matter how the opening choose to fight, I will win. You can do it. You can do it! I think I can skill. Uh, I don't think I you can do it. Boost me up. You can do it! Yeah, attack my back at the leg. Mas o build para quem? Ah, para ela, para a nova. Uh. That's a whole lot of damage. Ok. Por acaso não tenho construído muito, muito nos builds. <risos> Acho que devia ver melhor os meus itens. Não tenho evoluído muitos itens. Nem farmado sequer. Anyone there? Eu, eu acho aqui o farming desta, um, deste jogo mais complexo e mais esquisito que o, que o do Genshin. Então estou um bocado confuso. Acho que precisava uma beca de ajuda nesse, nesse aspecto, mas pronto. Anyone there, fish? Hey, do you even know any way to yourself? Eh, yeah, I'm a little not good. What happened? Do I do have something? Eh, yeah, I should try. I should try sleeping. But you mean no good. What happened? It's not a big deal. I'm writing a script for the upcoming Tales exchange to meet the deadline. I have to three days and three nights. I'm super sleepy now. Small talk's over. I need to finish before the deadline. You can do it. Try my best. Wow. Fish, I'm going to the low food. Just letting you know what happened. Nothing. <laughs> so the reason you're going is. So that the bank also has a check on the low food, I don't understand the fine rail, likewise I will read one answer question, pom pom, regarding the various dishes in Shaozu. If time allows, I wish to see things for myself in person, fish, or to find food in Shaozu. It's very average. I don't really feel that. Do you have any recommendations? Scala Gorpe Spring Water. So I don't think you are. If I had to choose a favorite. 
steam preferable to milk. I expect you would want that, I knew it. I'm that, I'm that predictable? Sometimes I'm not the world to reach these conclusions. I'll get you one too, thanks. What if I say the first one? Which is that one that's very bitter and no one likes. There's also a type of that we very bit so about. Its name is Puffer Gold Belly Bliss. Let's come <laughs> come back and check again later. When they're fish, the next performance of the mechanical fever is about to start. You coming? Of course I'm Yeah. Sure. Pois. Eu, eu gastei, eu gastei bastante, mas eu queria, queria alguém de luz, forte. Anyone if you don't forget to buy flowers, porque eu, o de gelo tenho, tenho o outro, o outro puto. Não, pronto, não é mais forte, mas, mas também quero ela. Como eu estou de serval, mas eu sempre que não tenho, eu vou, eu vou all in, caso ainda não tenho reparado. Só se for uma personagem que seja assim, que me pareça muito a podre. Fish, come to my room. I found something amazing. Ooh, what did you find? You know what I'm there. Hurry. Okay, what's this? It's from Chanzu. Paper. Open it. Full letter. I've learned of your return to your home. All you have been from danger. I'm sure this recovery will forget memories in accordance with. Our old vow, we should once again roam our lands of past, bring in celebration, recount our great adventures. Who the hell are you? Upend the ancient sea and return to old ground. It's a letter for Don Han. But who is it from? É pá, deve ser a net que está a ver a pôr. Minha net de volta e meia, não sei se não para ir fazer. Estou andando a fazer obras ali do outro lado, não sei se é isso que está a afetar. Clouds leave no trace. Uh, let's speak with, uh, with Pom Pom. Fish, what's wrong? Yeah, that doesn't matter. Whatever. It amusement. What? Oh, we can idle on up these move foes. What? Oh no, it's this one. Okay. Okay. E sampo. O sampo ficou com dois. Mas o sampo ainda não tem. Ainda não tinha nenhum activate, whatever. Nothing at all. Okay, it's done. This is pretty confusing. Oh, achievement. Okay, obtain five star. Five five star from the Omni synthesizer. Okay. I have none. I think I have enough money to buy two. Hmm. Well, that might as well. Okay, let's let's roll again. Let's see if I can get some shit. Mas qual é que é melhor de quatro estrelas? É Yukong ou é Tingyun? Tingyan. Eu vi a Yukong porque pensei que ela era melhor. Se bem que esta também está está pretty much do ready to ascend, mas pronto. E o Kong. E o Kong ficou em E2. <coughs> ok. Uh, e por 5. Fuck me. Ok. One more roll. Uh, that's a good one. Lá tem a Lynx. Ok, são as duas fixe. 
Não, é porque para buffers eu já tenho a minha de 4 estrelas. Eu sei que também tens. O que é essa? Bronia beats all of them. Já ah, conseguimos aqui uma nova character. Pretty good, pretty good. A Lynx é, é, é das melhores healers aqui, né? É melhor que, que esta aqui. Por que é que eu tenho a Bailo aqui? Porque a Bailo não tem. não faz remove de. de status. E é uma bela bosta. Olha, isto é a minha cara. Totally. Sim, então, mas eu não preciso de duas, no máximo eu preciso de duas equipas. Mas pronto, sim. Eu de qualquer maneira que as vou todas. Só uma questão da prioridade quem é que vai primeiro. Então vá, let's speak with March 7. I don't think I have any other way to get some crystals. I'll make one more roll, hey, maybe, probably. Did you hear about our next stop? It's a world called Penacone. I hear it's a beautiful, dreamy place. I'm so excited. But Pom Pom said the banquet we were invited to is still a little ways off. Hmm, what can I do to pass the time? Huh? Is that my phone? Must be the group chat. Então, e quem é que é a melhor healer? Ah, o melhor healer é o, é o gajo da luz, já, yeah, o do caixão. Sim. Can you read this message? É, Bronia, long time to see. Que tu tens este também. Ronnie, I'm missing you so much. Great, I was worried that you could receive a message. I know you're busy, so I'll keep it in short. Que foi, filho? Full? Is this short? Damn. Recently I've been working on preparing a slow arm festival. <coughs> Traditional Belobogian, Belobogian festival, the standard celebration for the festival have been suspended. <coughs> filho, o que é que foi? Vai brincar? Uh, vai jogar, filhote? É? Vai jogar. jogar? Sim, vai jogar o uh, jogo da memória. The standard celebration for the festival have been suspended for years due to fragmento in the lockdown. Bobogs are really need a hated celebration last in spirit, so if you have any time, I'd like to invite you to Soul Ward. Ok, sure thing. I will come for sure. Me too, for several celebrations are right up my alley. I'd be great if you can come, everyone has been missing you. Stan Hank been busy these days, he hasn't sent any message in the group chat. It's all up in this room and I was turned off all his advice, I'll check on him, thank you. Me too, March, I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the festival. Roses are red, colors are blue. I'm a ghost, boo! Lucha, 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 Lucha. Não me lembro dos, dos nomes. Ok, prologue. This is the prologue for the new event story. Still sad? Pom pom. <gasps> no! I'm on my feet, ready to record. My heart hasn't changed out since the time, increase my protein intake. Ok, o que está acontecendo? Ok. Está aqui o Lucha. Por que ele está aqui? Eu não tenho. Só deviam poder entrar na minha nave quando eu estivesse na equipa. Don Hung, Bronya já enviou todos nós uma mensagem. Você viu isso ainda? Yes, I saw it. Then why didn't you reply? Ronnie is a good friend of ours. I'm sorry. I'm just not in the mood for idle chat. There's been a lot weighing on my mind since the Lo Fu. It was uh, tough on the spirit. Don Hung. I'm the one who should be sorry. 
I was being too pushy. You're right. You went through a lot Stop of being schedule. a pussy. Minute. All the time you need. And go to your psychologist. Stay in the express, get some rest, why not come with us? I stayed off soon. Uh, no thanks. I'll be staying on the ah, express. You. It's great that Bellabog is able to host a celebration. I hope your trip goes well. Say hi to our friends for me. Okay. Rest up. You're not allowed to miss the next Trailblaze expedition. <sighs> I'll be there next time. Oh, he won't budge, huh? Looks like it's just the two of us then. Oh. Uh, okay. He's gonna miss out. Eu fiz a missão do gajo, yeah. Eu fiz a missão do Lucha. Eu tenho aqui uma data delas para fazer. It's been through a lot lately. Stress free. Ganhamos alguma coisa se falamos com eles. But it's still a shame, don't you think? Yep. Ah, if only Himeko could come with us. Should we ask Mr. Young to come with us? Mm, maybe not. He's still wheezing from the trouble we got into on the Sienjo. You didn't notice? At his age, he might not appreciate <laughs> the extra... Excitement. At his age, he's like 28 or something like that. She might be up for an adventure. You've been on the express for a while now, but you've never gone on a trip with Himeko before, right? Well, now's your chance. Hey, Oti. That's a big smile on your face. What's the good news? Ah, uh, Himeko. There's a celebration coming up on your Rillo 6, organized by the Supreme Guardian, and we're invited to go take in the sights and sounds. Então, se eu falar com o gajo, já fico com os primos necessários para fazer mais um roll e para sacar a nova personagem. Want to come with us? I mean, considering how you helped us out with Cacolia, I'm sure Branya would be happy to see you. <laughs> ah, so that explains the grin. You're excited about the celebration. Thanks for the invite, but. No one wants to come. Send my regards to the Supreme Guardian. Make the most of the festivities. You've earned it. You two and Don Hung did help save your Willow Six after all. I'll be sure to join you guys next time. Ah, uh, navigators really do have their plates full, huh? Seems like it's just you and me this time. Let me go pack some stuff for the trip first. Come and find me when you're ready to set off. Okay. Let's speak with uh, Lucia. Just Windows 10 Primals. Acho que ainda não falei com ele. I must thank Don Hong for his invitation. This journey upon the Astral Express has been. He looks well like a while. Star Trek character speaking on the ship. Yes. Ever feel like an Scotty, beat me up now. The Astral Express. The cloud strike. Oh, sure. What are you? Oh, forgive me. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm an interstellar merchant. My Sienjo registered name is Norcha. Norcha. I met an acquaintance of yours. At least you can learn to say his Dan name Hung. well. He Norcha. Me to the Express, should I have the time, and so here I am. Astounding. Here I the am. The retro design of this locomotive. If only our own spacecraft could be modified in such a way. To be honest, it's not as good as you think. Really? After listening to Don Hung, I assumed you all liked it. Such a train can be likened to a solitary candle in the darkness of night. One may peer upon civilization strife. Desperation. Exists Mas já fiz tipo meia dúzia de missões. Uh, alright. Mas. Ah, ok, até porque ele já não diz a mesma cena. Ok. Oops. Wrong one. Let's get. Uh... RNG God, please help me. Bless me with your big special help. You come with the special ultimate. Nah. This is a four star. Ooh, almost C4. Oops. 
Oops, não é Shenda, não é? É do bom. C3. Ok, C3 é sempre aquela base. Damage multiplier provided by Benediction to increase 20%. Ok. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Ok, let's speak with uh, March 7. Is this a skin? What? So, what do you think about my new dress? <laughs> Pretty neat, right? I tell you that it is stuck here. Colleague, when did you buy it? Very fancy. It's been sitting in my wardrobe collecting dust for far too long, but now I finally got the chance to wear it. This kind of event doesn't come around every day. Why shouldn't I dress for the occasion? You're not really gonna wear that same old outfit. Can you give me a skin? Uh, let's just pretend no, no skins. No, pa. As long as one of us is making Eles podiam render boa das cenas com skins. Podiam ter boa das skins para as personagens. Trailblazer podia ter tipo. Oh, e no, no Genshin também. No Genshin ainda mais. Ok, vá, March 7, speak. Pijamas, hot water bottle, pom pom doll. That should be everything. Let's go. Wow, that was fast. Don't you have anything you want to bring with you? Camel toe. Ooh. Uh, nope, just myself. Why, you're bringing pom poms doll? Am I really safe? I'll be in it. Can't leave the express. Bringing a doll with us is kind uh, of like taking them trailblazing. No, I was tudo. just taking a look at the express record. It seems like your Willow and Dark Sage. O sete, acho só fiz duas estrelas. Quite a bit. O oito, acho não consegui. Acho que foi isso. E fiz tipo tudo no último dia. <laughs> foi antes ontem, foi há dois dias ou três dias atrás. So Mesmo com o Genshin impacto, tive de estar aqui um dia tipo só a fazer tudo do Genshin e do ah, mas está a falar do Abyss. Ah, do Abyss desse, do Bunkai, yeah. I'll bet you it's time to celebrate. It's a nice view. Um, uh, Trata! Galabon. 700 years. <laughs> Quando é que esta vai sair? Pensa que ia estar aqui. Isso é mesmo uma personagem de 4 estrelas. Ok. IPC. Peace Corporation. Ok. Who else? The one whose insignia is pretty much everywhere? That IPC. You still don't ah, remember? Pois é. Oh, what about Findy? That's one of their products. Oh, and the Interastral okay. Peace Broadcast. Ela vai ser de 5 estrelas e vai ser aquela de 4 estrelas que também tem um bonequinho, né? Uh, never mind. Okay, It's not sim. that important. The important question is. What are the IPC doing on your Willow 6? Eu ainda por cima não tentei fazer redim dos códigos do live stream no dia a seguir, já não deu. No dia a seguir não, dois dias a seguir. Tentei fazer num domingo, o live stream acho que foi uma sexta ou uma quinta. Tentei fazer o redim no, no domingo. Lá se foram. Que é que São três códigos com 100 primogênitos cada, né? 300 primogênitos, era mais dois rolos. Quase, mas pronto. Yes. Boss, encounter with two unknowns. Want me to take them out? Over. <laughs> you can try. Take them out? Just hang tight for a second. I'm on my way. Don't do anything stupid. 
I want to fight him. Can I pull up my bed? Please, please. Glad to make your acquaintance. Uh, I'm nice. Topaz, an investment expert Let from the Corporation. I'm here on Uralis 6 for a special business assignment. Oh, you have to to my colleague here. People scales aren't his strong suit. Please, um, um please don't logic, take it hard. You! You scared the life out of me! We're here for the celebrations. We're not looking for more conflict. Oh, right. We should probably introduce ourselves. I'm March 7th, a passenger of the Astral Express. You may have heard of it? And this is my friend and fellow passenger. <laughs> no kidding. I could tell you weren't locals from a mile away, but I didn't expect to run into two nameless here. Fate is such a curious thing. I heard that Eurilla 6 only stepped out of the Stellaron's shadow thanks to the direct intervention of the Trailblazers. But surely you two aren't. That says Yonder is ours. We may have helped out a little bit. So humble all of a sudden, huh? Are you feeling all right? Should I call a doctor? I want to sleep with that girl. <laughs> I never so I'm imagined trying to be humble. Here. Must be her lucky she seems day. like the kind of girl that like humble people. Wow, Miss Topaz. You're really young for an IPC executive. That's impressive. <sighs> More good luck, I suppose. But it's not as cushy as you think. Scurrying from one side of the galaxy to the other. Going wherever businesses require me to be. Huh. Your job sounds pretty similar to the express crews. Aside from the business, I guess. Oh, Branya moves fast. The crisis is only just over and she's already opened talks with the IPC. <laughs> These talks aren't exactly what you might expect. But I have to agree. The Supreme Guardian definitely knows how to govern a city. And that's the reason I'm here on Urella 6. To meet with her. Uh, Miss Marge, you said you were on your way to Bellabog festivities, right? My apologies for delaying you both. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's not like we're in a rush. Want to come to the city with us? The snow plains are freezing, and it's easier than you think to get lost out here. Thanks for the concern, but I'll manage. It's my first time on this world. I'd like to take it in its vast, iconic snowscape for just a little longer. Who knows? Maybe we'll cross paths again during the celebrations. Oh, uh, here's my contact information. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, I got their number, yes. Hours, but I'd be happy to chat off the clock. <laughs> wow, I actually managed to get an IPC executive's phone number without even trying. Teach me how to get rich. I'm in charge of a project board to take billion credits, by the way. <laughs> me too. <laughs> you two make a cute pair. Uh, anyway, I'd better be on my way. See you next time. Spank me, mommy. Aren't you cold? The well, the universe is huge. Yet we somehow stumbled onto the same path. Fate truly works in mysterious ways, don't you think? Come on, let's head into the city. Woo. Okay. Culture Museum was founded 600 years ago and was originally built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa. Oh, I'm so hungry. I wish I could have a red sunset salmon right now. <clears throat> it was built to memorialize Supreme Guardian Alyssa Rand. And also, guess what? I heard there's gonna be a Silvermane Adventure Camp opening in the Overworld soon. It's gonna be super awesome. Also, those who sacrificed their lives in the war against the invaders. Seven hundred years ago. Seven years ago. Miss Payla, I'm 
Peter is falling asleep. <laughs> Enough. From now on, That's me, I'm Peter. Peter. If you don't want to have any homework later, you'd better start listening. Sorry, Miss Pela. <laughs> o nome desta gaja. That's better. Já te sei o apila. <laughs> tens a pila, não tens? Where was I? A pila é boa. Oh, I never knew Pela had a strip Pila, acho que é das melhores personagens do 4 estrelas. By the way, né? Pelo menos quando eu vou ver, tipo, como é que chama? Hang on a sec. Isn't that Wallace up ahead? The rich guy. Looks like he's finally made some friends. Norbert, why don't you tell everyone how you were released from jail so quickly? Selling cultural relics and impersonating Silvermane guards are both heinous crimes. Well, it was all thanks to my uncle. You know. Ah, I remember. Your uncle is Minister Knoll. He heads up the Department of Transportation, you know. <coughs> yes, you, you, you knew that too. <laughs> You're shameless, Norbert. Not to be rude, but if I were thrown in jail, I wouldn't possibly ask my father to bail me out. Do you think I wanted to? I'm not the type of person to abuse my status. Well, I don't really know about that. Get off my back, will you? I had to deal with hardened criminals in jail. Now that I'm free, my supposed friends are ganging up on me. Looks like things are getting heated. I think we'd better get out of here. You're going to fight. Wallace is trying to make friends, but maybe make some enemies. That's why no one likes him. Hey, quick! Sir Ball's about to start singing! Ooh! Olha, a pila é das melhores personagens de 4 estrelas. Eu já a tenho, mas não está assim muito iludida. Oh, we have some guitar players. She's a Disney character, Disney princess. Is there some time? Who'd have thought just taking a stroll could be so tiring? Say, I think we should probably pay Branya a visit. After all, she was the one who invited us here. Or sure. we could go check out some other fun stuff elsewhere. Your call. Okay, there was some stuff in here to explore. Oh, we have Shepard over here. The Supreme Guardian mentioned there'd be mystery guests attending the Soul Warm celebrations, but I didn't think it'd be the Express Crew. I hope you had a smooth journey. I should have dispatched Silvermane guards to welcome you on arrival. My apologies. No need, Jeppers. Okay, let's just go to her. Come around and have a look. Die. Phew. Headshot. Headshot. understand the difficulties that this world is facing, Supreme Guardian. Bellabog's current financial burden cannot be pinned on you, nor anyone else for that matter. However, objectively speaking, since Bellabog has existed as an independent entity to this day, its debt cannot simply be written off. Oh, they're owning some money. Oh, it looks like we have some visitors. Branya! And Topaz? You're here too? I guess you've already started your business talk. We'll get out of your way if... It's no bother. We've pretty much wrapped things up already anyway. <sighs> Please consider my plans carefully, Supreme Guardian. If Eurela 6 wants to rebuild its connections with the rest of the galaxy, your credit record with the IPC will be of great importance. 
You've made yourself clear, Miss Topaz. Play what you want. I'll require some time to consider my next course of action. Naturally. However, while you're deliberating, my colleagues will need to carry out some operations in Bellabog. I hope that your subjects in the underworld are cooperative. I'm sorry our business got in the way of a reunion with old friends. I'll get out of your way. Topaz was so intense. She seemed nice when we met her. It's good to What's see you two again. Welcome back to Bellabog. She seemed the I planned a special also. reception, nice but intense. I had to deal with an unexpected guest. The lady you just witnessed, she claims to represent the IPC. There's no need to keep either of you in the dark. To tell the truth, I have too much weighing on my mind right now to even think about the Solmorm Festival. What exactly did Miss Topaz say to you? Hmm. Since you've already made her acquaintance, I needn't explain who she is. I'm sure you've heard pieces of Bellabog's history the first time you visited. The Legion's invasion 700 years ago, how the Stellaron brought about the Eternal Freeze. It seems that much of Bellabog's history from that time was buried deep beneath the snow. Those memories were lost, and weren't passed down to the subsequent generations of Supreme Guardians. Topaz shared with me the story of the Stellaron's descent upon Yarillo Six. How the original outsiders stationed here foresaw the impending disaster, and chose to leave in large numbers. Among those outsiders were several investors from the Interastral Peace Corporation. Of course. Before they departed, they did something noteworthy. They sought out architects who refused to leave. Those who insisted on defending their homes. The IPC provided these architects with significant funds to aid them against the coming disaster. It was with those funds that Bellabog was able to construct its immense walls. Even the initial funding for the development of the first batch of automatons was drawn from the same pool. Wow, that's a pretty incredible story. So, does that mean Topaz's business here is to collect a debt from Bellabog? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm afraid so. That's ridiculous! And what's with the timing? What took them so long to get here? Seven hundred years. If it wasn't for years. us eliminating the Stellaron, they'd have nothing to collect. It's obvious they're just trying to take advantage. According to her account, the repayment period agreed upon by the architects and the IPC investors was 280 years. However, less than a century after the loan was taken out, the connection between Yarillo 6 and the rest of the galaxy was completely severed. The IPC deemed that the disaster had caused irreparable damage and that there was no civilization left to reclaim the debt from. As such, they considered the owed sum permanently lost. It wasn't until the Stellaron crisis was resolved that the IPC discovered that Bella Bog had survived. And that's when they sent Topaz over to collect the debt. And... How much is owed? What happens if you don't pay off in time? The debt owed is an astronomical amount. I don't even know how to read such a long string of numbers. <laughs> Before you both arrived, Topaz warned me that if the payments were the paid, billions, the IPC would give her the authority to employ strong measures. Thirty the billions. Oh, I had no idea things were like owned. This. Here I was thinking the IPC had come to rebuild Bellabog, not extort it. Looks like we have to interview. I don't the Bellabog wants to do anything about this on their own. Uh, right. We need to figure out how to help them. The IPC is too big and powerful, even if Branya steps in. You seem to have a deeper knowledge of the Interastral Peace Corporation than I do. But if the records are accurate, and they truly have a presence throughout the galaxy, the IPC could crush Bellabog like a bug if they wanted to. Of course. I'm glad you're both here. They're the mafia. I know you came for the festival, but now... 
Now, I must ask you and the Astral Express for help. Do you think you could persuade Topaz to reevaluate the situation? The Express's reputation precedes it. Perhaps there's still hope? Mm. Have no fear, Braga. No. When a friend's in need, the Nameless will always be at their side. Let's go have a chat with Topaz. <laughs> yeah. After all, this girl here is a pretty good negotiator. They call me the negotiator. Thank you so much, both of you. I'm so sorry for dragging you into more trouble. While you're out looking for Topaz, I'll see if I can think of a strategy to deal with the situation. Best of luck, and stay safe. Oh, hey! I just remembered! Topaz gave me her number! We might as well just be direct and ask her where she is. She seems like the type of person who appreciates a straight approach. With her Mr. Pass greetings director top Oh, she has the the little doggy. It's going to be seen and able to remember. Please wait. Not a reply, she's not in there. Greeting director Pass is going to be to stop repeating. The same thing. Greeting director top pass. Hello. Checking director top pass schedule for current the pass What? Sting is pretty smart, thank you. Greetings, yes, they're always confusing. Alright, doesn't seem to be working. Okay, got it. She's at the museum. Let's get going. Not to go. We better think about what we're gonna say. She might be young, but she is an IPC executive. She's definitely no pushover. All right. Oh, we're teleported to the museum. That's nice. The museum that I helped creating. Six hundred years ago. Oh, it's you two again. This is the third time today we've run into each other. Uh, share some of the record. We sent you a message. Why? Of course I will. Meeting friends from the Astral Express is always a moment worth cherishing. That's not what I meant. What do you make of this painting? I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, I can tell it's no ordinary piece. It portrays a certain kind of uh, sorrow, you know? Not your everyday kind of sadness. It runs much deeper than that. It's as if the artist had condensed history into one poignant but sorrowful image the artist's brushwork depicts a generation's no several generations hardships yeah seems like you know your art i was thinking is that something not at all the analysis of an aficionado i wouldn't take my word for it the express has visited many worlds i'm sure the nameless have a far greater knowledge of such things than myself. I suppose what I'm trying to say is what I'm drawn to isn't the style in which the piece is painted, but its overall value. Its intrinsic value may only be 50,000 credits, but its added value might push the total up to 200,000. Uh, sorry for crashing your artist party, but we came to talk to you about something else. Oh? A dead. Collaboration between our two sides, perhaps? No. Not exactly. Actually, we... Let's walk and talk. This way. Most exhibits in this museum are of little value. But, with a keen eye, it's possible to find a diamond in the rough, so to speak. Miss Topaz? Branya's already told us about Bellabog's debt situation. Oh. You two are closer than I expected with her. So, how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement, or... We, uh... uh help me out here. You know I'm not good at this kind of thing. I want to ask you for a moment of her. The obvious demand and reasonable express will pay off. I see. I understand. 
from your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. I've dealt with cases far more difficult than Bellabox. I appreciate each case has its difficulties, but if I treated every late debtor as a special case, the galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. Okay. What are those ways of seeing things here? And if that can be repaid? The strategic investment department is well versed in handling such situations. Destroy the planet. We can offer the debtor various repayment solutions. But Urillo 6 has far exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. So, I proposed to Branya. Oops, oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't I? Oh, that was a close one. Uh, the exhibits here are pretty ordinary. I estimate they're probably not worth much. Uh, let So you're basically saying the Bellabogians must pay off their ancestors' debt. When you think about it, it's just another part of the cycle. Let me clean the dead. <laughs> dead shot. Uh, I'm not sure it's as poetic as that. <gasps> wow, look! Is that little critter native to Urilla 6? <sighs> it's so white and fluffy. <laughs> Where can I find a live one? You like animals? I absolutely adore them. <laughs> Have you guys met Numbi yet? Oh, where'd they go? They must be out playing somewhere. Hmm, had to think of it. This little guy is on display here probably means it's already extinct. Right? Yep. So, Miss Topaz, what exactly will it take for the IPC to go easier on Bellabog? Branya invested so much just to make this world a little better. And now, it feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. Just so cruel. <laughs> what do you take the IPC much. for, Miss March? We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. We're all followers of the preservation. No matter what solutions we propose, we will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, wouldn't yeah. we? So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? But Branya. Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. She'll understand. But, to answer your question directly, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what obstacles I encounter. Oh, this isn't going as planned. What should we do? I wouldn't waste too much energy on this matter. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Yeah. This is some mini games. Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies, but I should probably take this. Bye. Bye. So, what now? We spent ages trying to convince her and she didn't move an inch. We didn't promise Brownie would succeed. We short made sense. We should keep pestering her. She sort of made sense. Disappointed. Yeah, not my problem. I guess Miss Topaz is just doing her job. And as far as the Express is concerned, I think it'd be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. <sighs> All these vested interests. It's so hard to undo any of it. They teach this stuff in school. <sighs> uh, wait, did I even go to school? Maybe did not. someone send you a message? Ooh, silly. You're back in bubble. Oh, give me a shout when you're in the sergeant. What up, silly? A bunch of rascals came down and one took over the great man by force. I asked Bronya what to do and she told me not to mess with them for the time being. Listen to her, not mess. Too late. Wildfire is someone guards already engaged them. Oops. Those jerks have super advanced fancy weapons with check up damage. We can't handle them. Sending USOs. Oh, they're taking over the mine. Because they that's that's a way to make the payment. Ah oh, shit. Huh? 
the IPC are causing trouble. Yeah, they're Nezuko. mining. Seriously, Topaz was just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Oh, and now they're pulling this stunt. You really can't trust these money-hungry IPC suits for a minute. Let's go save Irigo again. Uh, I really did. Oh, I guess complaining Oops. won't get us anywhere. Let's go lend them a hand. Glad to see you two here. I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. Is anyone or who's going on? It's bad. Really bad. Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few wildfire members got minor injuries. Fortunately for us, it seems like they were holding back. You see those two in black? They've been guarding the mine entrance. They're not letting anyone in or out. Hey, just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us. Who do you think you are? What's the matter? Got nothing to say? What's going on inside the mine? Any ideas? A few miners made it out earlier. They look pretty panicked. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. These uninvited guests keep talking about asset evaluation, whatever that means. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the underworlders. Stop us around, we'll handle this, yeah? We'll try to handle this. Do you think Topaz is around here somewhere? Maybe her cronies are acting without her authorization. Can we enter in the mine? The person you're talking about. Are they in charge of the people in black? Yep. Potaz, Pasto, whatever her name is, she can wait. Right now, the most important thing is to free those trapped in the great mine. Are you two with me? Okay. We're going to have new enemies. Hey, you two. Cat got your tongue or something? If you knew what was best for you, you'd get out of my way. You guys must be exhausted standing here all day. How about you take a little lunch break? I'm sure the IPC allows that, right? I guess talk your boss, stand aside, see let's get some lunch room. Uh, what's their deal? You two were talking to the director in the snow plains. Yep. So it's you. You're the one who was threatening to take us out in the snow flames. Oh, do you even know who you're talking to? If your boss knows to treat us with respect, you'd better start showing some yourself. I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. Team Damn. leader? <laughs> you're even lower on the pecking Six order months than in which planet? I spent seven years on a forsaken asteroid preparing to join the IPC. I went through 17 interviews before they finally hired me. What right do you deadbeats have to criticize me? IPC? Interviews? I don't know what you're rambling on about, but you're really testing my patience. No you need to waste like this your breath on this idiot. Let's do this. Assistance 
defense is timely. Blade of the Target threat in the high lord. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Let me tell your wounds. Practice is oh, so Crack the Saras. Go. Dead. <laughs> That's it? He sure took off quickly. <sighs> 17 rounds of interviews and these are the best people they can find? <laughs> what a joke. Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I've been warned that the ones in the mine won't go down without a fight. Let's set off when you're ready. Ready for action? It's time to kick the IPC out of the underworld. Let's go. Let's get moving. Okay, they don't seem very strong. Oh. Let's take the recommendations. We should get an healer, right? Meanwhile, at Svarok settlement. Hello. It's Mr. Sparog, isn't it? And this cute little girl must be Clara. Uh, hello, miss. Are you... I'm Topaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sparog. I'm your mommy. Clara, I'm your sister. go inside and wait for me. Huh? But if you have a guest, maybe I should... Just go inside, please. She is not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. So, it seems my source was right. Who would have thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl? <sighs> so heartwarming. ICP. You bear the insignia of the Inter-Astral Peace Corporation. What is your motive for coming here? <laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. Urillo 6. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the IPC. No one can reverse this outcome. Not you, not the nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only mm. care about one thing right now. Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that Urillo 6 can generate value. In the long run, this is a way, the only way, to ensure Bellabog's long term interests. I need your help to achieve this goal. Long term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary, how do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. The hell is it? Is... Source code. Or, to be more precise, source code that is able to take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. I'm sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellabog over the last 700 yep. years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. The code is so refined that the engineers never saw any reason to change it. I assume you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands of automatons, enough to crush the Legion's vanguard, lay dormant within. This is my bargaining chip for negotiating with the higher-ups. I'll convince them that your real sick has a place in the company's long-term strategies. Okay. But first, I need a guide to show me where these automatons are buried. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. What are your 
intentions for the people currently living here. Their future has already been purchased. All I can do is make them accept this fact, using a relatively peaceful approach. I understand. I will assist you with your plan. Oh, so you're not as stubborn as the rumors suggest. The future you speak of is beyond my computational range, but my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to ensure the survival of this world. Additionally, calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force if I refuse to cooperate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. Here's to our future cooperation. If you wouldn't mind leading the way, Mr. Sparog. Okay. Maybe Swarov can save the world. Save the cheerleader, save the world. All the miners here huddled together. Anyone else getting deja vu? Well, the situation here is pretty similar to when you first arrived. It's just that instead of a few thugs and broken robots, now we're dealing with much more formidable adversaries. Hey, check it out! Isn't that Topaz's little trotter over there? Oh, what was it again? Nandi, right? What? Isn't that thing a fragmentum monster? She's uh, the IPC are all about their sci-fi sorcery, so it's not that surprising. Want to go take a look? <coughs> Sounds like you two are getting along. <coughs> What's Nandi saying? <laughs> wow, that's so deep. Oh, come on, stop My fooling around. Life is meaningless. Look, you guys. Looks like it wants to leave. Let's follow her. Oh, looks like they want to find their master. Let's follow them. Help! Those people dressed in black are attacking us. Hey, I'm talking to you. Where do you guys store the geo marrow? No, I really don't know anything. This place is filled with nothing but incompetence. <sighs> Those cowards. I guess they want to do this the hard way. Really? Need a doctor? They get a step of what? What do they Performance points. Oh, okay. What does that do? Interest of Peace Corporation employee protect point. Stack please damage dealt by 50% second one time. All performance points are consumed when this <sighs> Okay. Heaven search. They do 50% more damage. Sorrows. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Uh huh. <laughs> Looks like Numbie's in a good mood. Uh, but aren't they on the IPC side? Strange.
Yeah, we well, got some robots. <coughs> Really in charge. Oh, that's an Good IPC go. robot. Huh? Where'd Numbi go? Wow. For something so short and stubby, you're surprisingly nimble. Well, guess that's that. We're on our own now. Let's keep going. Hey, you! Are you in charge around here? Ah, how local. The IPC is currently conducting asset evaluation work here. Local residents are advised to follow those responsible for evacuation to the... Don't lie to us! You seized the mine by force for yourself! You drove the locals out of their homes! I'm warning you. Get lost or suffer the consequences. Don't you dare show your face around here again! Ah, and who might you be? You have quite the attitude. This is our jurisdiction now. We are all powerful here. Topa just lets you do whatever you want. Yeah, probably isn't her because she's, she's a good girl. Otherwise, she wouldn't be able to be added to the team. I want to speak to, to your boss. Let's get an up. She's trying to resolve everything by peace, and these guys are fucking all up. You know, it's funny how the rules always seem to work in your favor, don't you think? This world's been hanging by a thread, and now you're here to pull the plug on it. <laughs> don't blame me. I'm simply following orders. Do you think I get to make those kinds of decisions? <laughs> Save your breath, March. I never held out any hope of resolving this problem peacefully. Didn't you claim the IPC was all powerful? <laughs> well, now's the perfect chance to show us what you can do. Uh, if I knew things were gonna get this heated, I'd have applied for overtime. <laughs> anyway, since you seem intent on settling this matter with violence, prepare yourselves for my heavy labor, damn it! They're like a variant. So we have the obsolete unities in this in this world and they are like the future. The future is now, old man. I sent a storm. Heaven search. Practice is over. 
Brachiosaurus. Seven more team build me well. It's like evil company. Let's just focus on the big guy. Sent a storm. Heaven search. Break. Damn. He stole all the points. But anyone else? Those two are going to die. That one's not going to die, okay. Crackasaurus! Oh damn, he did not. Rock on. of local inhabitants during the asset evaluation period. Teams that violate this directive will have their year-end bonuses reduced by 60%. 60%? <laughs> We're done for. Uh, attention all personnel. Evacuate the mine immediately. Erase all traces of your presence. <sighs> so, are we all good here, or what? Yeah. Judging by the looks on their faces, I don't think they'll be back. So, who is this Topaz anyway? She seems to have no problem ordering these idiots around. Or 
or taming fragmentum creatures, for that matter. Uh, it's a long story. You better off ask where on the walk is in it. Debt? What do you mean? You should probably ask Branya to explain it to you. <sighs> Why did this mess have to happen so close to the festivities? <sighs> the timing couldn't have been any worse. Oh, looks like we've got a message. Where are you? Martin Fish are alright. Run your left on the wall. The FPC is a good man. The didn't seal just kicked out. Yeah, I see. And, uh, did you get hurt? Don't worry, we can talk about this. I failed to break the path. No worries, Fish. It wasn't your response from the first place. Something happened here. Can I explain a message? Come back to Bot Fort. I need was from you too. Okay. Let's head back. Huh. I get the feeling Branya is worried about something. Okay, she got an offer her. and she wants us to ask if Are it's a good offer. Us, Go on without me. I still have stuff to take care of. The miners need to know what happened here. Branya messaged you, which means she thinks you can help. I trust her judgment. Got it, Zila. We'll do what we can to help Branya out. Come on, to Klipoth Fort. Yeah. Ooh. These guys don't look like these. By order of the Supreme Guardian, proceed no further, Miss Topaz. <sighs> Bellabog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. <laughs> Oopsie. Welcome back. I appreciate your help more than I can express. It couldn't have been easy running all over the city. <laughs> That's what friends are for, Branya. You don't sound like yourself. Is something wrong? Uh, I'm fine. I just... I haven't rested in a while. Why does he have a dick There's just too on his much chest. happening all at once. I'm sure we can turn things around. You could have foreseen all of this. They're moving quickly. Bellabog is crawling with their agents. All they talk about is asset evaluation. The silver lining is that apart from the mine incident you mentioned, there haven't been any major conflicts in other areas. I suppose Topaz must have issued an order against harassing the citizenry. Still, that hasn't stopped panic from building. People are confused. They don't know where these strangers in black came from, nor what their intentions are. Did you manage to get in touch with Topaz again? We're curious to know what solution she has in mind. That's the reason I asked for you to come here. I need your advice. Look. The contract. Uh, it's... The contract Tope has sent to me a little while ago. There's a handwritten letter attached. Please, take a look at the contents. And then tell me your thoughts. Miss Branya, if you'll permit me to call you that, I'd like to share a story with you from my own life. In your eyes... The IPC may seem heartless or cruel, but in reality, we all have a story to tell. As for myself, I was born on a small, unremarkable planet at the edge of the galaxy, a place whose name is known only to the native inhabitants. My home planet was extremely resource poor. To survive, people worked laboriously manufacturing products for other civilizations in the galaxy, mostly in chemical or heavy industries. Given these circumstances, the natural environment of my home planet became increasingly harsh. I don't recall the exact moment when it happened, but people started wearing respirators just to walk down the street. All you could hear were the wheezing coughs of the people, day and night. 
My home was facing its demise. The relatively wealthy chose interstellar migration and started anew. The majority who stayed could only struggle on amidst sewage, acid rain, and dust, waiting for the end. Finally, on the fateful day, the IPC arrived on my home planet. They had the technology to repair our planet's damaged environment. In return for their help, they asked for just one thing. That all inhabitants sign a contract which would make them employees of the IPC. Two years after signing the contract, the dark clouds and haze disappeared, and people began to take off their masks. After three years, vegetation and trees began to grow and thrive again. After five years, many animals, previously on the brink of extinction, reappeared. When I was finally old enough, I officially became a member of the Strategic Investment Department. I witnessed the changes that took place on my home world, and was determined to bring the same changes to many other worlds in the galaxy that were experiencing the same plight. I am writing to you, Miss Branya, with the genuine desire to express something important. I know freedom is precious to people, but in reality, there are things of much greater value, such as survival. How many generations of Bellabogians will it take to embrace the stars again without assistance? Who can guarantee that every future guardian will be as prudent and enlightened? How can you guarantee that a disaster such as the Stellaron Crisis will not descend upon Bellabog yet again? I have already negotiated the best possible deal for you. Once you sign this contract, all of Bellabog's debts will be forgiven. In addition, the IPC will set up a special team to support the reconstruction of Eurillo 6. I can understand that for you, <laughs> this is an extremely difficult decision. Because you, my sins. and you alone, will bear the fate of all Bellabogians. But because Keep story this, wise, I'll see. I believe that you will make the right decision. A decision <sighs> that will truly benefit your people. KOL case. Her words do sound quite sincere. What do you make of it? Yeah, I think uh, we don't have any other option. I think so. She was still talking, but that doesn't mean she's telling the truth. Let's put salt. I agree. But it struck me as an honest letter. I found the contents quite moving. It's hard to imagine she'd write something like this just to deceive me. In any case, she wasn't yeah, wrong that, when she that said this might would be, be a an good extremely difficult thing that happened decision. on the planet. Oh, ah, okay. planet's fate. But the civilization it carries Maybe other planets don't have the same fate. Everything that will happen. It all rests in my hands. This definitely can't and shouldn't be a decision made by me alone. Ah, Perhaps you should gain some insight from others first. I trust her more than anyone else. I trust her judgment too, but what if this decision is too much for one person? The impact of this choice could haunt Branya for the rest of her life. Speak with Sila. Topaz hasn't given me much time to consider. She wants me to decide as soon as possible. I wanted to put it to a vote. And let all the citizens of both the overworld and the underworld have their say. But with such little time, I'm afraid that's a lost cause. I'll convene the Klopoth Fort Architects immediately to discuss the contract. As for the locals, I'd like you to gauge their stance on the matter. The people of Bellabog hold both of you in high regard. They'll most certainly be willing to tell you their thoughts. It's time to reset against the clock. Do I have any voting rights? Yes, we need to move fast. We've got your back. We failed to convince Topaz, but this should be a piece of cake. Thank you, March. I'll assemble the ministers. Let's meet up here again later. All right. Uh, if we want to make Compile an opinion, we need to hear from both the overworld and the underworld, right? 
Let's start with the overworld. Grindel. Mm. Grindel já está. Ah, o Grindel Prime. Ok. Pois o Grindel é aquele de que parece um. Uma abóbora, né? Que come cenas. Não tinha para ele, não. We need our opinion on the person Mary. Sounds like something serious is happening. You'd better fill me in. Okay, explain. What? How is that possible? I need a moment to wrap my head around this. Mr. Vol, we're racing against the clock. No time for head wrapping. Uh, it's okay. I've thought it through. If it were up to me, I'd sign the contract. What? Hold on, are you serious? I thought you'd be against it for sure! Surprised? My reasons are pretty simple. Signing this contract would mean we no longer have to worry about surviving. For most of the residents here, especially those in the underworld, that would be more than enough to persuade them. As for working for the company, <laughs> people need to work no matter where they are, right? Yeah, is that... If the IPC tries to take too many liberties, we can always rise up yeah, against them. Yeah, it makes me feel like I'm a bit of a song. You know, I've always longed for the stars and fans. Which is why I devoted myself to the stars and fans. Which is why I devoted myself to the stars and fans. Which is why I devoted myself to the stars and fans. If someone told me that I could do whatever research I wanted with only a small price to pay, I probably wouldn't hesitate. Which is why I'm a bit of a song. I see. I always thought that it was like a frame of Halloween. Uma abóbora que come. I'll make a note of your opinion. Inimigos com a barriga. Tem uma boca na barriga. Pretty monstrous. Ok, vamos falar com a pila. Eu consigo falar com a pila. We meet again. I'll be too busy. Uh-oh. Yeah, neither opinion on something. Something's wrong. But I hope it's nothing too serious. I hope it's nothing too serious. Mm, sounds serious. Really? You better not be making things up. Why would I? I wish it were made up. Unfortunately, it's all true. We don't have much time, Kayla. Branya wants to get everyone's opinion. Wait, you're telling me I have to make this huge decision on the spot? At least give me a few seconds to think it over. Ooh. Ah, já está aí, mas é também o evento. Acho que sai hoje o evento Dead by the Light. Tenho ali umas, umas skins interessadas. Queres tentar me mandar uns, uns games? Eu olhei alguns dos climas de clima e, baseado nos dados que eu vi, vai levar três ou quatro mais gerações para o snow se completamente subsidir. E isso é assumindo que não há outros desastres. I care more about those in the present than a future I can't be sure of. If the IPC is able to bring about immediate change, then I think that's a price well worth paying. Building a better world for future generations nice sounds frank. great, right? Mr. Spoiler Frame. Is it any fun for the engineers and architects who are directly involved in such a pursuit? I see. So compared to a distant and uncertain future, what you really care about is making sure the people around you have a good life. Thanks for your input. I'll make a note of your opinion. Porque tem aqui fita métrica nas meias dela. Okay. What else? No teleport. Ah, então só sabes as novidades do Warframe. Vamos pedir a opinião ao, ao Dan. Isto é o que gosta da Serval. Olá, Trailblazers. Foi um tempo. Não pensei que você estaria de volta em Bellabox tão rápido. Foi bastante hectic na cidade hoje. Todas essas pessoas vestidas em branco de repente se apareceram. E até os guardas de silvermane tiveram problemas com eles. Você precisa da sua opinião sobre uma pessoa que não é. Você precisa da sua opinião sobre uma pessoa que não é. Eu estou feliz de ajudar. Ok, vamos lá ver o que eles são. Então, é isso que eles são. É pior do que eu imaginei. Mais vale desinstalar, Zdre. A Madame Guardian deve estar sob muita pressão. Há realmente nada que podemos fazer para ajudar? Estamos aqui para reunir todas as opiniões sobre o assunto. 
I know this is a little sudden, but we're running out of time. What's your take? Why, I'd refuse the contract, of course. There is no room for compromise. Just look at them. Arrogant, stomping around here as if they own the place. How can such people be trusted? Who's to say they won't breach the contract? Yep. Faced with this sort of coercion. We must resist them with all our might. Surrendering is not an option. You must warn the Madam Guardian not to allow herself to fall into their trap. A soldier's perspective is always valuable, Dunn. Thanks for your input. I'll make a note of your opinion. Okay. Now uh, we will we go to the underworld. World? I think we asked just about everyone we needed to. From what I've gathered, it seems like most people in the overworld are leaning towards signing the IPC's contract. <sighs> We'd better hurry to the underworld and see what Natasha and Zila make of it all. Okay, let's speak with Natasha first. It's getting late. Where to now? Mm. Oh, she's outside. What brings you two to the underworld? And why the long fade? Read it. Your opinion on important matter. Seems a little out of the blue, but since you came all this way, it must be urgent. Go ahead. is a lot of information to take in sorry both of you I, I know you're in a hurry but I need a moment to think no stress Nat just tell us what you really think <sighs> I've thought about it and well if I were Branya, I wouldn't sign it I won't deny the offer on the table is a very tempting one and if we refuse Bellabog will not only have the burden of a huge debt he may also incite the wrath of a very powerful force. Even so, a quote I read back in school came to me just now. Those who are willing to give up freedom for security will end up with neither. Living in the underworld has taught me that this phrase is true. I'd rather trek through the frigid snow plains than live in a beautiful cage. Yep. Wow, that's a pretty convincing argument. Another vote for the against pile. Thanks for your insight, Nat. I was thinking the same all this time. <laughs> None other than the saviors of Bellabog. To what do I owe the pleasure? To be honest, I'm surprised you even remembered an old geezer like me. But I can tell by the look on your faces you're probably not dropping by to say hi. We need your opinion on an important guess. matter. Something to do with these unruly people in black showing up everywhere? Yep. Well, ask away. It just so happens I'm curious about them myself. Maybe I can be of some help. <laughs> I see. That's a tricky situation, all right. A lot for anyone to handle, let alone someone as young as Lady Branya. Mr. Oleg, out of all the people we know in Bellabog, you have the most life experience. What do you think we should do? Going to say no. Want to hear the truth? I'm afraid great ambitions and lofty plans no longer hold much appeal for an old timer like me. If this IPC does indeed possess the magical power to restore Bellabog back to its former self overnight, then I think the answer is clear. Uh, Have you considered no. the opposite? <clears throat> what about if we refuse? The reconstruction plan already sounds like an endless endeavor. And with the added burden of a massive debt, well, is that something we can manage on our own? What worries me the most is how Lady Branya will handle the backlash from her people. Will she be able to withstand the criticism? Is she prepared to carry the weight of a tarnished reputation for years to come? Branya, the last Supreme Guardian, I think she can handle this with you. I guess I never looked at it from that angle. I wouldn't wish that title on anyone. But thank you for your thoughts, Mr. Oleg. Another vote for the four pile. Guys, okay, Farog now. Or Clara? I don't know. Yeah, it's going 
to be three by three. Three will agree, three will disagree. But I'm more leaning to disagreeing with them. Miss March, big sister. What brings you to the under Hey there, Clara. Uh is Sarah no. not around? Mr. Sorrow went out for a walk with a lady. Agreed with them. What? Topaz? Do you know where they went? Uh, I'm not sure, but Mr. Sparrow promised he'd be back soon. Uh, what now? Sparrow looks super logical. We should definitely get his opinion. Please, Clara's opinion is just as important. True. Don Hung's always saying that Clara's really insightful for her age. Huh? Miss March, do you want to ask me something? Hmm. Oh, uh, that's complicated. I don't know what to say. It's all right, Clara. No pressure. Just tell us how you feel about it. Hmm. I... I think if we have a choice for the future, it should be everyone's decision. Because when I was playing with Hook, the moles and the other kids we talked about our dreams everyone has different dreams if we accept miss topaz's offer then doesn't that mean our dreams will never come true just taking away people's dreams like that i don't know it feels wrong you're right children see the world as a place where anything is possible oh, just the thought of our lives being predestined from birth makes me shiver Thanks, Clara. Your thoughts mean a lot to us. We got everything. That's what we want to see people. Huh. All that running around has worn me out. So, the final conclusion is... The votes are considered even. Uh, I don't know yeah. what to do. Both sides have really compelling arguments. There's still one person left to ask. Only Bruna can make a... Yeah. Oh, right! We have an ask Zila. She's probably still in the great mine helping the miners. Come on, let's get going. I hope she doesn't agree with them. But yeah, she's the representative of the um, underworld. Bron is from the overworld. So if they both agree on something, they should do it. Back so soon? Any news? <laughs> are, you, are you feeling all right? You look a little uneasy. Please something important. Yep. I can tell from your tone that this isn't gonna be a lighthearted chat. But I'm ready to hear it. Do you think we should sell our freedom for the well being of I, the people? I think I get it. At first, I thought it was just a few IPC ruffians overstepping their boundaries. Yeah, you didn't think the future of Bellabog was at stake, right? Right. I I need a little time to process. We don't this. have time. As it stands, the votes are even. Your opinion will make all the difference. In that case, I I abstain. What? Votes are even. You have to shoulder this responsibility. No, this responsibility rests on Branya's shoulders. Not mine. No matter the choice she makes, she has far greater foresight than I do. She can see the bigger picture more clearly than I can. The vote is tied. If I were to give you my view, it would tip the scales and possibly impact her final choice. I'll respect whatever decision she makes, but it's not my place to make it for her. Understood, Zila. This is a difficult decision to make, and everyone feels differently about it. It's times like these that a leader must stand it's up and do what's like needed. These we were. Right. It's Branya's decision. She knows what's at stake. She won't run away from her duty. I trust her wholeheartedly. If she asks you, just let her know my reasoning. She'll understand. Well, it's all in Branya's hands now. She has to make the final call. 
Oh yeah, she plays a crucial role in this world. Do you trust her judgment? Right. I'm glad Bellabog has someone like her in charge. Ah, uh, the time has come. Let's go fill her in. I'm curious to see how she's handling those Klopoth ministers. Klopoth. It's getting late. Where to now? many people here before oh, geez I can barely even hear myself think March you're back if so what's the verdict what do the people th we talk to people in both the overworld and the underworld the final result was a tie I see. I suppose everyone has their own way of seeing things. I can't say I'm surprised. What was Zila's perspective on the matter? She's behind you, whatever you decide. She thought it wasn't her place to say. I should have known. That sounds like Zila, all right. Did you come to a conclusion with the ministers? Oh, it's so They're loud, going to I can't accept, tell what probably. anyone's saying. It's pretty much the same situation here. Neither party is willing to compromise. The time has come to make a decision. This chaos cannot be allowed to continue any longer. How could you have a question? Enough! All of you! I know what to do. I have something to say to the Supreme Guardian. Uh, but... Uh, aren't you... Uh, Himeko? Wait, is that the real you or a hologram? It's the boobs. <laughs> it's the real me, March. Real as they come. Miss Himeko, from the Astral Express? I... It's an honor. Thank you for all your help in our previous campaign. Things might have turned out differently without your support. If we had known of your arrival beforehand, the architects would have given you a proper welcome. I'm afraid the current circumstances are quite exceptional. I understand, Miss Rania. No need to explain. Your city is facing immense difficulties. My intention is simply to ensure that you have all the relevant intel. Do you have a solution in your phone? Because you were... Whatever. I hesitate she knows to something. call it a solution, but I might have some information that might help. It is my hope that with this information, you will be better equipped as the Supreme Guardian to make a wise and informed decision. Information? Please, tell me what you know, Miss Himako. I happen to have a friend with knowledge of Topaz. What Topaz said about her home world is indeed true, which is why she believes that the IPC's takeover of Bellabog is the only way of ensuring the city's survival. But there is one thing she intentionally left out. Not all worlds that have accepted the IPC's terms have been saved. You mean... Performing ecological reconstruction on a planet carries inevitable risks. According to the intel provided by my friend, the success rate for the ecological reconstruction of worlds using the IPC's technology is 63%. Only 63% of planets succeed? That's not exactly comforting. Yep, very low. This is the overall average across all IPC projects. The success rate of projects personally handled by Topaz is above 
She's undoubtedly one of the most capable people in her field. I wanted to bring these numbers, these probabilities, to light. I think it's only fair that you know all the facts before making a decision. Ultimately, it's up to you, Supreme Guardian, to make the final call. I understand. Thank you, Miss Himiko. This information is of great help. Regardless of how alluring their promises may be, this contract is nothing more than a gamble. As a leader, I cannot let the future of Bellabog hinge on a roll of the dice. I don't have to pretend to be impartial anymore. I think you're making the right choice, Branya. Too slow. Astro friends, I have an idea, but for it to work, I'll need everyone's cooperation. Não tem estudar nem nada, pá. I need some time to rally all the residents in the city. And then I'll meet with Topaz again. Please locate her for me. It doesn't matter where she is or what she's Agora doing. Agora assim muito, já tive esta oportunidade melhor. Still trying to take over Bellabox. I ask that you do everything in your power to stop them. Don't worry. Leave it to us. We'll find her. It won't be easy dealing with her, but these two will help me get the job done. Bellabog's future is not for sale. And we'll never forget the friends who stood by us in our time of need. Not once, but twice. Stay safe, everyone. All right, then. Refused. Talk your part, share the fault, the, the, the more details the better. Spring Guardian Wars will garrison the river town with Silverman Guards Automate and stop the APC infiltration defense assembly. <laughs> Still appeared with some special elements allowed to seize control of all automata inside. It seems the party is heading for a surgeon area in the depths river town for some reasons far away is better. She's trying to go against us. I hope not. My sin tells me that something else behind this. I don't know for sure. She 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 wants something from me. Let's go. Shepard should be waiting for us in Rivet Town, right? Here we go again. Back to our old stomping ground. Yeah, she wants something. Something specific. It's getting late. Where to now? The Supreme Guardian has briefed me on the situation and asked that I assist you in locating Topaz. Ready to enter Rivet Town? We'll go in together when everyone is set. Yep. Keep your guards up. We might run into IPC agents ahead. Destination reached. Wow, would you look at that? Huh. I never would have guessed it'd be here. But I don't see any mech or weapons. This place is completely surrounded by mountains. Surely they, they can't be. Affirmative. The weapons are concealed within the towering rock formations. No wonder we couldn't find the automaton factory. It was right under our noses all along. Wait a minute. You said these weapons have been hidden here from the very beginning? That means the architects of Urillo 6 never used them in their fight against the Legion. Correct. After the IPC departed from this world more than 700 years ago, no one has possessed the necessary knowledge for activating these weapons. The architects used the IPC blueprints to construct replica automatons. However, the overwhelming majority of the combatants, commanded by Elisa Rand, were human. I see. The stories about this world are okay. truly captivating. I would yeah. like to ask you a question, Topaz. <laughs> You're awful polite for a big robot. Ask. Don't be shy. If the IPC does not intervene, this world is doomed. Are you convinced of this conclusion beyond any doubt? <sighs> yes. 
I've gone through countless case studies, and they all point to the same conclusion. Any world that comes into contact with a Stellaron is doomed. On the surface, things may appear to be getting better since the Astral Express lent a helping hand. But sooner or later, the underlying problems will resurface. A looming crisis can often lie hidden beneath the illusion of prosperity, unnoticed by many. Understood. Understood. That's it? You don't have any thoughts on the matter? Emotional readings indicate that your response is sincere and accurate. That is all I wish to confirm regarding this matter. While my opinion on the future of this planet may differ from yours, it ultimately holds no weight. I am merely a tool, not a decision maker. Huh. If only my colleagues had the same self awareness as you. Come on, Numbi. Numbi. Un trotter. Eh? Un trotter. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Topaz disappeared after leaving Rivet Town. Sí. In her absence, no. her subordinates yeah. flooded oh, in and took over. The IPC soldiers are well equipped. It wouldn't be so wise to fight them ser. head on. Captain, Omni. what do you have in mind? You're right, Miss Himiko. We'll be using the automaton stealth bomb to cover our tracks. Automaton stealth bomb? I'll explain mm -hmm. later. Let's get moving. No. Oh, maybe, yes. Amigo. Mm -hmm. Look, down there! It's the IPC! Keep noise to a minimum, everyone. Don't want to alert the enemy to our presence. It's time to deploy the automaton stealth bomb. Are you ready? Use the automaton stealth bomb to wipe out the IPC threats. Right. Remember, try to avoid being noticed. Remaining hidden will increase our chances of success. Because one of the stealth bomb press the attack button to trigger itself to turn on the attack rate is complete. Complete the challenge. Without having to fail to stun the enemies at once or score by enemies, the challenge will be failed and be written off. Try to avoid enemies line of sight. Use sprint to approach enemies. Take okay. Okay. So oh, wow. Several like levels with a single explosion. That's what okay. you call efficiency. It's a shame we had to resort to this method. But we had no choice. I've seen standard issue robots like these before. It's an IPC field team leader. Correct. The exterior is similar to the Grizzly, but its weapons and armor are more advanced. Yep. Hopefully, the automaton stealth bomb will still be effective. Let me know when you're ready. Are you ready? Use the automatons. Remember, try to. Oh, yeah. To be honest, I didn't think it would be so powerful. Good thing everything went according to plan. This is the road that Topaz took when she left Rivet Town. Let's find her and tell her about Branya's decision. Ah, this time, the gloves are off! What the hell is this? Mr. Sparog? Are you alright? I hope Topaz and her IPC henchmen didn't hurt you. Greetings, outsiders. System functions are normal. I have had no conflict with the IPC's representatives. 
thought we might be facing off against each other for a moment. Such a result would be highly undesirable. Topaz is ahead. She had the means to force me to comply with her orders, but chose not to. From her perspective, the only way to preserve Bellabog is by incorporating it into the IPC. While I do not agree with her viewpoint, I lack the computational power to provide evidence to the contrary. While it is unlikely, I still encourage the avoidance of any potential conflict. Unlikely potential? Meaning there could still be conflict. Don't worry, March. The Express never pursues conflict as a first means. But if it comes down to it, we won't back down either. That's how it's always been. Himeko's right. As long as we can look at ourselves in the mirror and know we did the right thing, that's all that matters. True story. Let's go. Why would Topaz come here? Is she looking for it's something? It's possible. Portes abrir. Many mysteries lurk beneath the surface of this world. Fight. Oh, hey there, Slowpokes. I was starting to think you weren't gonna show up. Hmm. This lady next to Miss March looks oddly familiar. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Topaz. I'm Himiko, the Astral Express's navigator. Oh, wow. I remember now. The illustrious Miss Himiko. Some of my colleagues dream about meeting you. Himiko, is that famous? Of course! The Nameless have quite the reputation. You're following in the footsteps of the great Akavili, after all. I'm pleased to see how well everyone's been getting along. Topaz, based on your greeting, I presume you have a good grasp of the current situation? Of course! The deadline has already passed, but... Branya still hasn't signed the contract. I think I can guess what's holding her back. Please, don't misunderstand us, Miss Topaz. We have no intention of opposing the IPC or its board of directors. But we have very dear friends on Urello 6. Standing idly by and watching them sign an unfair contract goes against everything the Nameless are about. Um, Miss Himeko, sorry for interrupting, but this doesn't sound like a negotiation we needn't waste our time march she made her decision 10 minutes ago <laughs> there's no fooling the astral express you're absolutely right differing views don't necessarily mean one person is right and the other is wrong however to keep things moving forward there's usually only one solution fight What do you mean? My superiors have granted me the approval I need. Invocation time is improved. Proof or what? Thank you. You're very curious about my work. So many eager faces. Okay. I won't keep you in the dark any longer. No. Approval to launch an attack on the members of the Astral Express. What? The best kept secret to getting something over the line? Always be ready to turn the tables. Go, Numbi. <laughs> Projects under my wing have no room for error. Oh damn. Why?
sense of storm. How many can you block? Time for a shot. Now. Inevitable. Okay. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. A one-time enemy. Blade and flight. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> just, just a little something. Thank you. I can breathe easy again. Time for sword touch. Awaken dormant scales. Blood cleansing dragon. <laughs> Crack the sawdust. Crack the sawdust. Oh, damn. Be great on this fight. Whatever. Not a That'll take more than medicine. Lance blade. Crackosaurus. Blade 
Ich bin nicht dabei, ich bin Stop calling reinforcements! She was testing us. Incredible. No wonder the Astral Express is so highly regarded. Finished warming up. Now it's my turn. Oops. Stop. All of you, put down your weapons. Uh, Ranya! Oh, you're here just in time. Things were about to get out of control. Uh, Supreme Guardian. I was starting to wonder whether you'd left the express crew to fend for themselves. <laughs> that would hardly be becoming of you. I would never do such a thing. There was an important matter that required my attention. Uh, more important than this? Yes. I think you'll understand the significance once you see it. In short, I need you to help us evaluate our current progress. She tick. Help you? Hmm. That's interesting. I was under the impression you'd already decided to obstruct our operations here. I have read your letter word for word, Miss Topaz. And your childhood experiences truly touched me. Your hometown once experienced a similar catastrophe to Yarillo 6. So I can understand your perspective on the issue and the position you have taken. It's because of this empathy you have that I still hold out a glimmer of hope. Despite all that's happened, I hope we can still find common ground through peaceful means. I have to admit, talking to you is always such a pleasure. I apologize for my behavior just now. It, it was uh, inappropriate. She has a, an oracle. I admire your determination, seeing as you've come this far I've changed my mind I'll hold off a little longer and see what you have to show me but remember winning over the higher-ups won't be easy I understand that's why I've been taking things one step at a time the first step was changing your mind members of the Express will need your help too What? What a dismal sight. This district. Have you been here before? Kyle, sorry for the delay. Are we clear to proceed? The path ahead is clear, Madam Guardian. You and your companions can proceed north without hindrance. Excellent. The mountain road ahead is a little treacherous. Watch your step. Let's go. What is this place? We've never been here before, right? Ooh, a new map. <sighs> We've only recently discovered this domain. Let's keep moving forward. 
What I want to show you is just ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ice is melting and yeah, fighting stuff. Look, the people of Bellabok have not given up. I just want to give them a chance. Do you two recognize that broken down machine over there? Engine of creation. It's good colors. Uh, hey, Shh, that's a secret. Oops. It's called the engine of creation. Do you remember it? Yes. Miss Topaz, I know you've done a lot of research into Bellabog. I was wondering if there was any information on the engine of creation in your records. Not at all. Which is why I find it so incredible. Such a massive feat of engineering, yet there's not a single mention of it in any of the Strategic Investment Department's report. I may know the reason why. The engine of creation was constructed solely by the people of Bellabog, without any external assistance. The project was led by the first Supreme Guardian, Alyssa Ran. While warriors fought on the front lines, the engineers worked tirelessly behind the scenes, designing and constructing it. So what you're saying is the engine of creation was a weapon constructed by the Balabogians themselves? Yes, but not entirely. The engine of creation was commissioned for combat shortly after its completion and played a significant role in the battles against the Legion. But Alyssa Rand had a long-term vision one that nobody anticipated. For a long time, this feat of engineering was codenamed the Geological Reconstruction Unit. It was actually given a much grander purpose, to help the Bellabogians rebuild their homeland and restore their world to its former glory after driving away all those who threatened it. <sighs> Remarkable. A vision that would transcend both time and generations. Pelabogians. <sighs> Madame Rand was truly an inspiring leader. Uh, not to take away from the Supreme Guardian in front of me. <laughs> She's quite the inspiring leader as well. Well, uh, thank you. But I didn't really do anything. All I did was bring the people of Bellabog together and make them aware that our hard-earned freedom was under immense threat once again. If we want to preserve this freedom, we must act and show those who doubt us that we, Bellabog, have the will and the ability to control our own destiny. The outcome of our mobilization speaks for itself. The children of Bellabog have made their decision. They have chosen to preserve this homeland with their own two hands. I must say, I didn't anticipate this at all. <sighs> I'll fight for this opportunity for you, Branya. I shouldn't have conflated your own circumstances with my childhood. That was a serious lapse of judgment on my part. My world never had a resolute leader, so people gave up on the idea of saving themselves long ago. But your civilization has persisted through the snow and storms for 700 years. A truly admirable feat. Then, are you willing to retract your previous decision? As for the debt, we'll find a way to gradually repay it. But it'll take some time. Unfortunately, the acquisition of Urillo 6 is a strategic decision that's been approved by the IPC's top brass. Even if I wanted to overturn it, convincing them would be extremely difficult. Unless... Don't worry, Miss Topaz. Myself and all of the Nameless aboard the Astral Express are willing to vouch for this world. <laughs> Fantastic. That might just work. As for the, uh... 
reports and potential accountability. I'll handle it. Yay! We saved the world again. Miss Topaz, you mentioned accountability. Uh, don't worry, it's it's nothing I can't handle. Tick. There are more important things than titles and ranks. Finding the best solution is what matters most. Want to see the will they catch your pay? If that's what they want to do, then so be it. I've long passed the stage of working see the just dog. for money. Uh, thank you. Yes, so little much nice for one all back. you've done. I never thought we'd drag the express into a crisis again. Mm. Much less one that might cause a rift between you and the IPC. Rift? I wouldn't go that far. Also, it's me who's mostly to blame. I didn't keep my subordinates in check. Thank you for some good words from me with your bosses. Is it true that IPC requires you to go seven rounds of interviews? Oh, thinking about a career change? Eh, for sure the future. Thing. I'll put in the best words I can. <laughs> I'm glad we're able to discuss some lighter topics. Well, you all need some rest after everything you've been through. I have arranged rooms for you all at the Goethe Hotel. Miss Topaz, if you need somewhere comfortable to stay. Ah, I appreciate the offer, but I need to head back and deliver my reports. It's been great getting to know you both. I hope we can work together again in the future. Only next time under better circumstances. Oops. It's getting late. Where to What's now? this? Oh, okay, the new district. Uh, do, do, do. Can I make one more roll? Ah, almost. Maybe I'll win some. I've been wondering, how did you figure out what was happening here on Bellabog, Himeko? March was looking forward to the Soul Warm Festival for ages. Looks like she's missed her chance this time. I never thought this trip would be so <sighs> tiring. Time for bed. In light of the events that have transpired, we will be taking the following disciplinary measures against you. Your rank will be demoted from P45 to P44 with corresponding adjustment to your basic salary. All bonuses for the current cycle will be revoked, including stock options and performance bonuses. You will need to submit an additional report regarding this incident to Diamond. If you have any objections to this penalty, you may also file an appeal in writing. I have no objections. Understood. Is there anything else anyone would like to add? If there are no further remarks, this meeting is concluded. <laughs> oh, you didn't you like only it. got demoted one rank? Phew, you dodged a bullet there. Pretty big project to mess up on. Someone must be looking out for you. Oh, they've already left the call. Ugh, this voice changer is driving me crazy. Let me turn it off. Aventurine, why are you still on the line? Hey, what's with the hostility? It's not like I'm your boss. Oh, wait. I guess I am now. <laughs> my apologies. I'm still getting used to my new place in the hierarchy. Can I help you? If you've got something to say, say it already. Oh, nothing important. Just checking in on you. I told you Urillo 6 would be a high-risk, low-reward case. Why do you even bother in our line of work? Having a kind heart can be more of a liability than an asset. If you're not careful, 
You'll end up leading yourself down a dead end road. Anything else? If not, I'm hanging up. Wait, hold on a minute. Don't hang up. I get it. You're not in the mood for this conversation right now. Okay. How about this? Something that might interest you. While you were enjoying your playtime on Urillo 6, Diamond was busy taking care of the head honcho of the Building Material Logistics Department. That's why he didn't attend today's meeting. A Terravan? That's right. The renowned Terravan. One of the seven board members. He's throwing his support behind us instead of the marketing development department for once. <laughs> Oswaldo won't be laughing anymore. Diamond's been a great help to both of us. Your antics on such a crucial day can't exactly have painted the strategic investment department in a good light, you know? <laughs> Since you get the point, let's get down to business. I'm currently at Pierpoint. There's a major deal that could affect the whole department. I just so happen to need a reliable project manager for the job. What do you say, old friend? Huh. And what prompted the mighty Aventurine to start collaborating with others? Panacone. What else? What? <laughs> that's right. Now that's the kind of reaction I was hoping for. Uh, hold on a minute. Diamond picked you for this project? I, I was expecting someone like Opal or... Uh... Obsidian to handle it. At least someone higher than rank P46. Honestly, who knows? The family has some pretty questionable characters. If you ask me, doing business with them is a lost cause. But as we both know, the IPC does more than just business deals. Guess it's my time to shine. So, how about it? This is a rare opportunity. Consider it. You never know. You might even be able to make up for your blunder on your Rillo 6. Uh, I'll get back to you later. Mysterious. <sighs> Seems like it's just one wild ride after another. Sample. I hope I made the right decision this time. We're into the extinct. <laughs> the snow is mesmerizing. Means that they're coming back to, to life. Yeah. The person now if you can fix the express, you might come across the way. Turn to the express. Okay, so now we've unlocked this, which I'll do it on an airframe. Oh, we can pick one of these characters, nice. I have all of them. And we have some limited time rewards. Alrighty then, pretty cool. What's this? Warp Trotter. Okay, seems to be some funky things. Can I make one more roll? Uh, wrong option. Yes. I'll do it. Suck a dick, man. Bang, Kai. Kai, I want you to Yeah, let's not make a big fuss. We both know it's not coming out. So, achievements, stuff. Maybe I can do one more roll. Ten. Oh, we even got the assignments. Assignments don't give crystals. What's this? Uh, no. 
Uh, oh, this message is for, for the event. No, there's no no way I can get more um, more crystals, more gems. Hello, yes, I am. So we've unlocked this event with this text message. That's good. Anyway, please allow me to introduce. I'm Waldo from the for Corporate Development. Contact you to recommend you a video game. What game? Genshin Impact. <laughs> now, please allow me to get back to the introduction. This game is called Item Roars. We've got it a brand. Uh, get to the point. Don't worry, I'm getting there. I don't know it's a card collection game, but it's not anything like the other training card games you match. You can use the IPC cutting edge A either copying technology and coin. Then you can print out those and get uh, okay. Yeah, pretty cool. So if I join in your game do I get some rewards? Awesome, finally a new player for my favorite game. Anyway, you it is free feel to come into read town plus or little seven try it on. Be hosting international tournament festival. Okay. I'll be there soon. No problem. I'll be there waiting for you. Yay. So this is right in the middle of the plaza. Yeah. Okay. That's what we are going to do next time. But now that's all. Um, don't forget that there's a giveaway going on. We have a link down below. You can win hell a lot of games. You can win four games, three keys for Steam, one key for GOG. The keys for Steam are uh, Shinso uh, Club, um, Cloud Punk, Control Ultimate Edition, and the key for GOG or GOG is uh, for, for the game Prey. So, four games you can win, uh, big ass giveaway. Link is down below. Tap it to know what you need to do. Uh, the more things you do, the more probability you have to win. So, that's it for now. Share, like, subscribe, all of that stuff. Thanks for watching. And have an awesome gaming time. Toodaloo! <laughs> Boop!